Groundbreaking study is out showing short-term fasting improves the quality of life during chemotherapy. And joining us to break it all down is neurosurgeon and scientist Dr. Raul John Dial. Thank you for being with us this morning. Can you start by telling us how this study was constructed in the first place? It's a fascinating study coming out of Europe from Germany. And I think people who have been on chemotherapy, have loved ones who have taken chemotherapy, or as a provider, I know that massive fatigue is quite a challenge for them. And chemotherapy is given every few weeks over a long period of time. During this study, they had 50 women in one group and 50 in another group. Just the day or two before and the day after chemotherapy, so not during the whole time period, but just the day before, day after, one group went on fasting, 200 calories, and the other group had plant-based diet. And then nurses followed them through months and into years, and it was found that they had a lot less fatigue if they were in the fasting group. I think that's a fascinating finding because, again, fatigue is really a major obstacle for people on chemotherapy. And, and doctor, why do you think it worked? I don't know. It's clever. I, I, I don't, you know, the, the science behind it is not uh, understood, but I don't think we need to know the science if we're going to have good quality of life results like this. If I were to hypothesize, I would say people are looking at fasting with inflammation. People are looking at fasting as maybe they didn't throw up as much. But the fact that it worked, I think, is a nice add-on category that doesn't use the risk of having another pill or another treatment uh, in lieu of that. Why was short-term fasting compared to something like you mentioned, a plant-based diet? Yeah, so this is, I, I think they are trying to uh, address a concern that's happened within the cancer community that maybe plant-based versus non-plant-based eating processed food, meats, maybe plant-based has an advantage of its own. So the, the fact that they chose fasting versus plant-based, they went head to head with the current best diet suggested to people with cancer therapy, which is not eating uh, processed foods, not eating red meat. Hmm. And, and, and there was a special role of nurses in this study. Speak to that. Yeah, I th you know, first of all, we got to recognize and appreciate them. The, the massive process of a cancer journey, a lot of it is done by nurses. And these studies, when you ask them about fatigue and you document that, you add that onto the scientific literature, nurses are doing a large uh, bulk of that sort of science. And it often goes unrecognized that it's not just the scientists and doctors looking at forward thinking research, but it's the nursing community within our cancer community. Well, thank you so much. Lots of information this morning. For more information on today's topic and other health stories, you can go to City of Hope and follow Dr. John Deal on social media now.